Kirby Joseph, they had the top 10 safeties ranked in the NFL. And look, I'm not pounding the table, saying, where was Kirby Joseph? He's being flat out disrespected. No, I'm not doing that. Because it was a work in progress, DMAC. Because we saw progression. But I will say this, that he will be on this list ne next year. If he takes the steps he took from week one to week 17 last year, if he travels that same distance, he's on this list, no question. Well, you got to arguably say, you know, this is a top 10, so Kirby Joseph, you know, he's got to be, what, top one of the next six six guys from 10 to 16, which puts him in the top half of the league, and he's only going to get better. We agree with that. You asked how many interceptions you think he'll get in the first game. What do you think he's got throughout the year? That's one of the questions who's going to lead this team in interceptions, and most of us think it's Kirby Joseph because of his ball hawk ability. Ball finds him. You know, he certain guys it's like goal scorers in hockey the puck finds them in the right in the right spot and on defense so i mean five to seven is not out of the question you have five to seven interceptions as a safety you have the team that wins the north you have that success boom he's automatically up and you know would be arguably in the top five in the top five to ten i'll come i'll come clean on this one dmac because i remember that when he was drafted and that's that was what we were sold right we were sold on the He's always around the ball. The ball always ends up in his hand somehow, some way. And it's one of those things you can't quantify. You talked about it with hockey. You can't quantify it. It just ends up that way. I remember we were at Feldman Chevrolet last summer. Remember we did that show when we talked to Malcolm and Kirby Joseph yeah. was out there and oh, stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. We talked to Kirby Joseph before the show a little bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest about it. I'll raise my hand and be honest about it and look in the camera. I walked away from talking to Kirby Joseph going, That's a safety? That, he's like, not that big. I'm like, I'm bigger than this guy. And then you're like, whoa, I didn't see the dog in no, you. You no, didn't bring your dog. And, and you didn't bring your dog like, to look, Feldman. Look, he's, he's, he's kind of quiet and everything like that. You always got to be, you always got to watch out for the quiet ones and stuff like that. But I remember thinking, okay, you know, I'll obviously you ride with Brad Holmes. So I said, okay. And, you know, it took him a minute to get in the lineup and everything like that. It took him a minute to figure things out, which it takes us all a minute to figure everything out. And he got out there, and I'll be damned if that football didn't find him all the time. Certainly, if Aaron Rodgers throws it, it really happens to there's, find there's him. There's a great uh, clip on Woodward Sports that the boys in the back put out, and it was Kirby Joseph just talking about, listen, I don't care if it's practice, it's a game, and I'm paraphrasing, is that when I step on the field, I give everything I have. I'm grateful to play this game, grateful to be in, and that's, that's what you want. And he's got the talent, too. He's only going to get better with the guys around him. And look what they added. Look what he was playing with last year compared to this year. And you know what? I'm, I'm watching going, well, the, the run defense. This isn't last year's team. This isn't last year's defense. Go by the names of the guys. And you know what? You can think not like Jack Campbell, not like what they've done to the linebackers. But until you see it in action, you can't say they're worse than they were last year. Right. And... It's funny you talk about that, right? Because obviously everybody saw my face when they drafted Jack Campbell. And I came clean about Iowa tight ends and things like that. When they get here, that, sh that shit is over. They're here now. Dish. So it's ba based, based solely on what happens now going forward. Because I saw somebody in the WoodwardSports.com chat thread talking about Broderick Martin and like a lack of sacks he had at Western Kentucky, which isn't his bag. None of that matters. Dude, He's I don't give a shit if Broderick yeah. Martin has a sack this year. I need, need him to plug the middle and stop the run. And you know, make you know it, how he'll be a success? You know, Nobody runs for 300 yards and a half. And you know what it is? What What is the one thing that we're going to see, which you have, and, and not only to the secondary that you've added, guys that attack the ball, is that we got, we got a defensive line that gets their hands up and touches the ball. Not only a defensive lineman that intercepts the ball, right, but tips. And our secondary with the Suttons and the Mosleys and the Gardner Johnsons, Kirby Josephs. Now, they're they're aggressive ball hawks. They're different. This defense, I I think it's going to look a lot different. A lot of the same guys, but with years under their belt and what they've added to it, it's not going to be that defense we saw last year. And, and I'll say this to bring that full circle, like talking about Kirby Joseph and meeting him and saying, "Wow, okay, if you if you guys say so." I have done probably the biggest 180 of all the Lions players. The biggest 180 from like initial glance 
to becoming a simp for, nobody will ever replace Panay Sewell to me. Nobody. Ever. He's up there. He's... He's no, he may be number two behind Barry when it when it's all when it's all said and done for wow. me. He's trending there, but I will say this: I have not done a bigger 180 on anyone, Aiden Hutchinson included, than Kirby Joseph. But you, elbow, you're down, elbow, Kirby elbow, Joseph. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Just just initial, you know, seeing him. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, this this safety from Illinois, uh, fourth round pick, right? Yeah. Third or fourth? Fourth round pick. Third. Third round pick. Okay. You know, the safety from Illinois, okay, third-round pick, okay. You know, not not a lot of there in stature, but I was told the ball finds him. And then you see in the NFL, and the ball just finds him. And I'm on board. And DMAC. And it's different. He, he will. I'll, Is that not the eyeball test? He will be on that list next Isn't year. Isn't that oh, absolutely? Isn't Guaranteed. It? I yes. guarantee it. Yes. Yes. And the, and the biggest thing, too, right? What, what do you worry about with young guys? having success early and resting on their laurels. There's no laurel resting because these guys have stuff to prove and they want to go out and prove it. And just even, even the little interactions like last, last Friday at the celebrity softball game, running in and talking to Malcolm and watch him light up when I ask him about, you know, OTAs and the team and stuff like this. And, you know, you can't hide that. It's, you know, they're all excited. All these young guys with the, what the veterans they've added, but they got something to prove. And Kirby Joseph's going to be a big leader of that from the back end. Yeah. And again, just going back to it, I think when it, when it all gets recreated, if this team goes where everybody thinks they're going to go or gets to the level where we want them to go, I think that Kirby Joseph will be one of those linchpins of it. I, I, on, I honestly believe that. He'll be one of the linchpins. You know how I talk? I, I say Panay Sewell was the one that, that changed everything for the franchise. Kirby Joseph on the field will be one of those guys that changed everything for this franchise. You know what I thought of, Neil? You know what's going to be cool? What do we see in all, most other teams, right? That secondary celebrating together, you know, tagging in the high fives and stuff like that. We don't get that much. We got it late in the year. We got it last game of the season. I think they're just going to build on that. And the guys that they've added, it's just going to make everybody else better. I'm, I'm even more excited, even after talking about this segment. Let's I am go. too, man. I'm, I'm told you guys, I'm getting there. It's not even July 1st yet. I, DMAC, I like the pace I'm on right now. I do. Good. I feel, I feel good about, I think when we, you know, when everybody does the vacations and everything like that, and re, we reconvene in August and we mobilize towards football season, I, I think I'm going to be there. Okay. I'm trending there. Good. It's a green arrow. Take your time. A lot of other things to worry about. <laughs> Like your grass, or maybe lunch. Hey, well, hey, or strawberry fest at oh, Big Boy. That's huge. Yeah.